Hello folks, this is Brennan with Benchmark Tool and Supply, bringing you an introductory video on how to unbox and prepare your unique Q500. So what we've done back in the office was we went ahead and charged the radio and a battery to fly with. I'll go ahead and show you how to get it prepared once you get out in the field. First, you want to take your battery this side up. You're going to open the rear hatch door, push, let go, slide in battery, push it all the way in, make sure you can't go in any farther, just push the door closed. Next, what you'll do, on the blades, each one is designated, designated with a letter. That letter corresponds with a letter on the motor. There's only two, A and B. A propellers go on A motors, B propellers go on B motors. You want to make sure these are really snug. They come with a rubber ring around it. You basically want to make sure it crushes down on that rubber ring. So now we're going to go on to B. One of the easiest ways to remember is that A is across from A, B is across from B. Next, you want to go ahead and remove your gimbal guard protector so that your gimbal can move around freely. You want to go ahead and power on your radio. Once your radio has come on fully, you're going to go ahead and power on the craft very simply by sliding this switch to the on position. You'll get a series of lights underneath letting you know that it is on. Next, we're going to go ahead and set it on our takeoff point and go find a good location to stand to fly from. So, now that we've turned on the quad and the radio, you want to check a few things. You want to make sure that your GPS is good and in the ready position. You also want to make sure you have more than 10 satellites. And you also want to make sure that you have you know, a couple satellites on your actual remote so it knows where this is at all times. This is also going to give you the battery life of your actual flight craft, the battery life of your controller, and your altitude, speed, and distance. Before you take off, you wanna make sure you are in the middle position, angle mode, and that both sticks are centered. Once you're in the air, the craft pointing away from you, so gimbal pointing directly away from your location, forward on the, on the right stick will move you away or towards the front of the craft back will itself move it back towards you left will be left right will be right to climb and gain altitude you merely hold up on the left thumbstick or down to descend to look left yaw to the left with the left stick look right yaw to the right with the left stick. If at any time you feel like you're out of control of the craft or it's gotten out of line of sight and you want it to return back to you, merely switch, flip this switch from the middle position to the bottom, it says home. It should come back and land within about five to 10 feet of where it took off from. You wanna go ahead and hold the start, stop button for about three seconds to five to get the motors to stop. Three, two. Now, if you'd like to come back and just land manually, all you do is line the quad up so it's pointed directly away from you, hold the back on your right thumb stick, until you're about over where you would like to land. Then, just simply hold down on the left thumbstick to descend out of the sky. Until you 
where you'd like to land, go ahead and hold your button, the button down for three seconds. In the event of a crash, do the same. Immediately upon impact with the ground or as you're on your way to the ground, hold the stop start button for three to five seconds. So to begin takeoff procedure, you want to hold your start stop button for about three to five seconds. Once your blades have spun up to take off, you're just going to gently push up on the stick on the left-hand side so you take off from the landing pad. 